Joining us now from Tokyo, Saskatoon's own Devin Haru, who is covering the games for CBC. Devin, how jazzed are you to be at the Olympics right now? Sam, this is extraordinary. You know, for more than a year, we have been waiting and wondering if these things would even take place. And now here I am in Tokyo. It, you know, all of these restrictions, all these protocols, listen, in the lead up to an Olympics, you always get these storylines, security issues, are the venues going to be ready? There's always something that dominates and, and sort of hangs a negative cloud over all of this. And let's not lose sight of the fact that Tokyo, yes, is still in a state of emergency, but you can feel it now. It shifts to the actual competition. And as soon as that first medal is won for Canada, the country rallies behind these athletes. And I'm just, as you said, jazzed. I'm, I'm vibrating. It might be all the coffee I drank, but I'm vibrating right now with, with excitement to have a front row seat to all of this athletic greatness and then bring it back home to everyone in Canada. It's outstanding to be here. What is it like in Tokyo right now with all of the COVID precautions? Because that is probably like nothing you've ever seen before. Yeah, that's exactly it, Sam. It's uh, it's a surreal experience. You know, uh, I was at National Olympic Stadium um, in the lead up to the opening ceremony, and there were there were a few people milling about and taking photos of this spectacular stadium that was meant to hold tens of thousands of people and house the hopes and dreams of this country. And there was a little bit of sadness for me because this is a, a country that, you know, eight years ago won the Olympic bid and was so excited to be holding these games. And they're going to be shut out. International fans shut out. Restrictions everywhere you go. My movements restricted from my hotel room where I'm talking to you from to the media transport to the venues. There are walls and cordoned off areas around all of the facilities the Olympic Games are about bringing humanity together, about bringing communities together. Yes, the athletes have endured, they're here, they're going to put on a show. But when you look outside of sport and think about what this is about, there is a little bit of a loss going on here. So it is certainly with mixed emotion. I'm going to do my best in my reporting to navigate all of that. But there is no doubt a lot of challenge as we go into these games. Let's talk about the athletes that have worked so hard to get there. How is Saskatchewan contributing to Team Canada? Well, Sam, you know me, of course, uh, being from Saskatchewan, I'm going to be tracking our, our athletes very closely. And we know that there are 12 athletes as a part of Team Canada who have strong Saskatchewan connections. I love the story of 10-meter diver Rylan Weens from Pike Lake. Spent a lot of summer camps at Pike Lake. Uh, he earned a spot on the team, had a dream of doing this. Now he's here. That's an outstanding story. I want to talk about Lisa Tomitis, our head coach of the women's basketball team who has spent so much of her life coaching the University of Saskatchewan Huskies women's basketball team. She has this team so ready. So watch for Lisa on the sidelines leading Team Canada. You should also, you know, we don't talk about the support staff enough, Sam. And I think we should talk about a woman by the name of Rhonda Shishkin. She's going to be one of the athletic trainer and support staff with uh, Lisa Tomitis. They've worked together in Saskatoon. Now they're working together in Tokyo. She, uh, I got to know really well when I covered the Huskies. So they're, you know, in every little part of the games, you're going to get that green and white Saskatchewan flair. But I'm really excited about the women's basketball team. This answer is different for every single person. You will ask it. What event are you most looking forward to? Well, I yeah, exactly. And you know me, uh, my job here on the ground is uh, attempting to get to every event. I'm not going to be able to do that, but I might die trying out here in the 40 degree heat. Listen, I'm really excited about our Canadian swimmers. I've spent a ton of time with them. They burst onto the same, uh, scene in Rio, a pool party uh, five years ago, six medals in the pool, the third most ever by a Canadian team. I expect it to be sort of a similar performance. And the women are just so strong from Penny Alexiak, who was 16 years old in Rio, now 21. We have 14-year-old Summer McIntosh as a part of that team. 37-year-old Brent Hayden out of retirement after seven years into the pool. So from 37 to 14, this Canadian team's going to be good, Sam. It almost makes me think I might still have a chance at my Olympic dream. But listen, all over, Canadians are going to be competitive. And they're targeting, you know, somewhere around 20 medals. I, I think they can get there. 
Uh, but through it all, we're going to see a lot of inspiring performances. Thanks for this, Devin. Have fun. Thank you, Sam. And to all, all of Canada, enjoy the games.